Alex the car doctor. Guys, you all know I'm in a shared space. And sometimes it get a little hectic around here. Got the oil guy out getting the oil. Just gotta pay to dispose it. So I gotta go somewhere. So I just did a short explaining to where the oil goes and why the consumers have to pay environmental fees and things like that. This truck right here holds about upward of 2,000 and some gallons of liquid. So it's pretty amazing. I was able to get my oil tank drained. Hey. Just business expense, just one of many. <laughs> I had to get my number one key guy out here. This is his information because as you know, I work on my wife for sale cars and we just got this 2014 Cruze that needs a key. So he's out here hooking me up. It'll be ready soon. <laughs> so while he's programming that, I'm gonna go back inside because it's pretty noisy out here. See what a code enforcement here for. He's probably here to write me some tickets tomorrow, man. They, they be tripping. He better not. <laughs> Seems like I got so much to do with so little time. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I don't have the old part. I think it's in the office. Um, this one had a, a ring that was clocked the wrong way and it was burning oil real bad. So bad that oil was getting into the combustion chamber. And when that happens, you'll get pre-ignition causing things to melt. Let me go get the old valve to show you. Check this out. Melted. It's just crazy. And it wasn't like this. It was just burning oil. And he just kept driving it like that. Um, now, I normally don't do piston work, but this customer, he just stayed persistent and I really wanted to help him. And, um, I, you know, I got you. I'll re-ring it for you. So yes, sir. Go ahead, man. Come on. You already on here now. <laughs> I you gave the, the young lady the paddle yesterday. All right. Where was I? Yeah, this Escalade here. It was burning oil in cylinder number one really bad. And I pulled the piston up. I already got it back in. I um, rehoned it. New rings. They're properly clocked. Now, I have recently stopped taking Escalade. Oh, gosh. Now the compressor want to kick on. <laughs> Take it back to the office. Now, I've recently stopped doing Escalades because of parts failure. Um, of course, there I've gotten a lot of great parts like the Johnson lifters and y'all guys been telling me about that, but it's not available quickly to me at my local parts stores because I'm all about the quickness, getting them in and out and their vehicles back so we can all make a living. So yeah, I, I recently stopped until I figure out parts, guys. Hey, y'all know my brother. I'm pretty sure y'all recognize him from a video. <laughs> now, this van right here is going to be our new family van. Um, when I bought it from the auction, it had a real nasty knock to it. Kind of bought it sight unseen, very rough condition. I'm going to go through the engine, rebuild it, throw rings at it, um, do a couple of upgrades, change out these 317 heads with three, um, 799 heads. That's going to raise the compression, giving it a little bit more power. Throw a cam and springs in it along with long tube headers. So We and only pay how much for this? $1,500. And these vans, they're very expensive. And guys, uh, what was the word? I don't use cheap no more. Frugal. frugal. You're frugal, honey. I say cheap. But <laughs> I like to save where I can and you know, if I'll go out and buy a use one of these running, I'm still going to want to go in and redo everything. So why not just buy it broken so I have a reason to go in and do everything I want. So that's where we had got the front end off. We're going to be pulling with this. Yeah, we're going to be pulling our camera with yeah. that. So um, that's why I wanted to do the power upgrades. It does have the LQ4, which is the six liter engine. Um, I'm not sure what series. LS engines confuse me. Um, we have the the Kia Sedona, Sedoma. I never can say it right. This one is Sedona. Getting, this one is getting the engine. Um, I made a short about it a while ago. Van got like 80,000 miles on it. And the head gasket is blown. 
It ain't gonna show it, man. The key is not in it. Oh. And I guess they really love this van because it's a donut with it's the a donut. Ant. <laughs> I guess they really it. like it because they spending good money on it. Look it at really, it. If it was me, I would have traded it in. Go dogs. <laughs> That's, that's where we are. We got the, oh, look at this one. Jeez, yes. This that's one, gonna be a video all on its own. Yeah, it has to be. This one is, ouch. <laughs> uh, you can call it negative camber and get, you know, maybe a drift car, I don't know. <laughs> but this is the engine for the van. It's a donut. Uh, guys, you know I'm not a big fan of Kia and Hyundai, so no comments there, I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> Oh, you talking about that, that, that crazy noise that's yeah. making down there? Do you think it's going to be I don't know. Let me give it a, a real. Yeah, because. you know, it. It's probably still in the vacuum. That's probably why I'm making that noise. Let's um, throw some Freon in it. Because, um, like I said, it wasn't making that noise when it had atmosphere. It only started when we vacuumed it down. So, I'm pretty sure that'll fix it. We just got finished putting the engine in that car. It started making that weird noise after we pour vacuum on the system to remove the moisture. Because anytime you open up an AC system, it's a really good idea to no it's recommended not a good idea it's recommended to vacuum it down pull all the moisture out the system because if you leave that moisture in the system moisture have it's water and water don't go in the ac system it can cause premature failure of your ac components and we all know ac components are very expensive so got to make sure we take care of that stuff and do it right whoever you have to do it that's my little tech tip for that all right enough games you don't you got a car to diagnose yeah I do. let's I go do it, it. <laughs> <laughs> Shit came on, uh, but when i be driving it be feeling like well coming out of first to get up to like four rpms and i can smell something too i don't know if it's me or if i'm tripping and then you gotta uh, stop smoking no, I'm smoking. I'm <laughs> I'm just but uh, and then the engine check light just flashed. Up. Okay, that's a misfire. Yeah, I'm driving. It may be something simple. That was a long time customer. Well, he's basically family. I've been knowing that guy since he was a kid, before he was driving. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with this thing. So a quick backdrop on this. Um. I looked at it a while back ago. I think I told her she probably has some cam gear issues because when she first crank it up, it'll rattle real quick then quiet down. So it could be the phasers getting loose, the cam phasers. So I guess she took it to another guy and she left with her car sounding like this. It's supposedly have a stripped out spark plug hole on number eight right here. So that's how I've been looking at that and trying to fix it. Why did she take it to another guy? That don't got nothing to do with me. Huh. But she gonna learn. Right. She's gonna learn today. <laughs> so it wasn't sounding like that uh, before? No, this car didn't have those spark plug issues. Okay. I guess I'm gonna verify the repair and Look into that. Try to fix that. Put a, a heli coil in it or something. You put. You gonna um be right here or you wanna? No, I'm gonna be right here. She need a valve cover gasket. That sucker is pouring the oil. They should have been recommending that. All this oil down here. What have happened? If you drive, keep driving around like that. Most of the time, um, not on this particular vehicle. I'm gonna tell you why. But most of the time in your normal car, the starter be right down that under there and oil will start saturating the starter causing it to wear out also your alternator normally your alternator on certain vehicles will be right under the valve cover too but not on this car now the reason i say the starter is not down there because it is under the intake 
under all this is the starter is buried i can see a bit of it now and it does look like it's the original toyota denso starter you're not gonna be able to see it on camera but i'm looking through this hole right here you can probably see a piece of it no it's too dark yeah a little piece of it um yeah toyota thought it'd be a great idea to put the starter down there causing costing you guys more money as a consumer because it's just a lot more work to remove an intake and get to that starter <laughs> here's what it is I'm gonna go grab some tools and check this out and start the process i never can do what i want to do do when i want to do it so right now i'm playing some tetris with some cars i have to move the challenger out the way um and the wheel is all jacked up on that so i'm gonna have to pull some macgyver type stuff uh, move that out the way move ship that over so i can get the hyundai out so we can test drive it so i can get the toyota sequoia inside so i can properly diagnose and fix it mouthful right <laughs> so i guess this is fine for right now where i'm at um not much room to work with out here as you can see my parking lot is a mess but i guess that's a good thing plenty of work um let me show you that i did fix the um the avenger remember i was saying it was under vacuum that's why i was making the noise let's go check that out so i guess this compressor design didn't like it when it was under vacuum when the engine is running i guess it was doing something funny but now that I have free on in the system, um, I can grab it again and it'll make that pretty nice. It sounds nice and normal now. AC blowing snowballs, that's exactly what I want. And as of right now, my machine is saying disconnect this coupling so it can pull the Freon out the lines. Because as you can see, the gauges still are, you know, showing that it have Freon in them. So now I'm just gonna click enter and it's gonna vacuum all that stuff out the lines. So it'd be ready to use next time. Now I'm running out of steam, guys. I didn't get to do what I wanted to do yet. About to sit down and have my, eat some lunch. This is my, one of my little favorite little snacks, guys. I love me some salsa and dip. So I'm about to enjoy this. Give me a nice cold Sprite, courtesy of my wife. Thank you, baby. Here with thumb. Oh, yeah. Well, Ooh. I'm gonna shove the camera in your face while you rest. I'm out of juice. Literally. We'll be back. And just in case you guys are wondering, when you call that phone, you'll be speaking to me, not Alex. And not me. <laughs> <laughs> Alex rarely gets a chance to answer the phone. He's busy. Sometimes he don't even have time to eat. Sometimes he can't even pee. Right, exactly. Sure. So. Shan is the one that answers the phone, guys. Does all the quotes. Uh, rarely will you call here and he can come and answer and your she's very knowledgeable. She learned there. everything from me. He talked to a mini me. Just about. He taught me everything I know. I didn't know much about cars, but now I know just about everything he does. She knows more than her boyfriend. Right, exactly. No shame. But when you call here, guys, you're going to get Shan. You're probably going to ask for Alex, and he's probably going to be unavailable. Just so y'all know. Sorry. So days like this, you gotta grab a snack and not a full lunch because sometimes when I have a full lunch, it'll slow me down. And I can't afford to be slow right now. I gotta keep moving, get these cars up out of here. Continue to do my thing around here. Like you see, I'm all over the place, guys. And that's why I try to explain. Now I was able to show you. <laughs> it's hard to be a shop owner and a mechanic at the same time. Hi right, guys, you know I wouldn't be Alice the Car Doctor shot without a Dodge. Kinda always throw my favorite car in Dodge. But speaking of this car, it seems like all month long I've been playing with problem after problem. Car came in for a lifter tick, had a big nasty chunk missing out the head. We opted for an engine, placed the engine, and now the transmission is out. The problem is, the transmission wasn't doing that before. Transmission was perfectly fine, no transmission issues. What I think happened was when my guy removed the engine, had the transmission situated in a weird way and it tilted over. Um, when it tilted over, fluid rushed out the axle shaft housing and that's like giving it a flush. Anytime you 
I guess, raised the sediment from the bottom, it gets caught in places and it was throwing a weird shift solenoid code. So by me trying to fix the problem, I even made it even worse. I ordered a solenoid pack for it and now the thing won't even move. So now we, we gotta buy her a new transmission. Which is fine, you know, cause customers always come first, but it's like, it, that's really coming out of my pocket because it's, it's hard to blame that on him, which I know is his fault because you know, the transmission wouldn't have tilted over. It would have been fine. Now, let me show you something I can blame. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Again, same guy. I'm not going to name any names. Oh, did a transmission drain and fill with Honda Fluid. Make sure you use the Honda Fluid. Driving down the street. Guess how he drove down the street? Hood up. I guess he pulled his number right here and he flew, flew back. Busted the windshield, not only that, it hit so hard, it bowed the roof in. Had a windshield guy come out, he's like, it's gonna leak, have to fix the roof first, so. Supposed to be making $500 off this car, and we paying out, what, 400? 500. Almost something. five, almost the same, so. I'm going backwards here, guys. But I know sometimes it could get discouraging for yeah, you. Yeah, and then on top of that, the icing on the cake, went home, prep the trailer for this weekend and the slide gets stuck out. So I'm feeling real defeated, but I gotta keep pushing forward for my family and my customers. So, and for you guys who was on the other end of this video. So make sure you like and support me by hitting that thumbs up button. Uh, you know, share all that good stuff. Hit the bell for more upcoming videos. Until next time, guys, I love you. Alex the Car Doctor out.